One of the cool features of YouTube is the ability to premiere your video. That means you can make your video drop at a specific time and your audience can watch it live with you. And the good news is YouTube have just added a bunch of cool new features to help you customize your premiere. So in this video, we're gonna take a look. Let's go. So what is a premiere and how does it differ from a live stream or a regular video? Well, with a premiere, you can set your video to be released at a specific time. And then at that time, there'll be a countdown. All of your audience can come in and actually watch it. And you can be in the chat actually chatting with your viewers as you and them watch the video. It's a super fun and interactive experience. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up a premiere and customize it just the way we want. So there's two different ways that you can set your premiere. You can do it when you're first uploading or the way that I recommend is to upload your video and then actually set your premiere options. So I'm here in my YouTube studio and I'm going to go to this video. This is my new song called Work in Progress. So I just hit the edit button there. Now, ordinarily, if I wanted to release this, all I need to do is change this visibility from unlisted to public. And then as soon as I hit save, it's pushed out there. Those that have notifications on will get notified and people can start searching and viewing that video. But you'll notice that down here, there is a schedule option and you can actually schedule your video to go out at a certain time and day and set it as a premiere video. So that's what we're going to do right now. So once you've uploaded a video, and I recommend uploading it as either private or unlisted, you can come in here to the edit section and here in the visibility, you want to click this one and hit the schedule or schedule button. And we're going to click set as premiere. Now I'm going to set this premiere for tomorrow at 8.30 and uh, that will equate to the afternoon or the evening for the folks that are in the largest demographic of my audience, which is the US, the UK and Canada. So we've got that schedule set there. And once we hit done here, we've actually got the ability to add some more options here under this button here. So I'm going to click on the set up premiere button and we're going to go through all of these options here now. So for the longest time, YouTube only had one countdown timer and it became a bit of a meme because it was only two minutes and the music and visuals were a little bit dodgy. However, we now have a whole bunch of different themes. So if you come into this, we can click this drop down and check this out. We've got everything from alternative to ambient to contemporary to funky to sci-fi. So whatever video type you're releasing, there's going to be a music type for it. So let's jump in and take a quick preview of some of these, shall we? Let's check out the funky theme. That one sounds interesting. That sounds like this. And you can see there that there's a different type of visualization showing the countdown for each one of these. Let's try another one. The sci-fi one is pretty darn cool. Something for those uh, epic videos that you're releasing there. And uh, let's just try one more. What about inspirational, if you want something to inspire? Very cool. So what do we want to go with this time around? I kind of like the funky one. So let's just uh, click on funky there. I like how it's got all of the little numbers just floating around there. So there's different visuals as well as different sounds. So you can choose which one you want. Now, the other cool thing is we also have countdown length. So previously it was only two minutes. And what I tended to find was that didn't give enough time for people to actually get in, say good day to people and get ready to watch the premiere. So I'm going to make this one a five minute countdown length. Now you can only go up to five minutes. It's only between one minute and five minutes, but we're going to make it five minutes there, which should give folks enough time to jump in for the premiere. Let's take a look at the other two options we have here. Redirect has been in there for a while and I've found it super useful. What we can do with this, if we hit the add button here, we can redirect folks to a live stream video straight after the premiere. So if you want to do a Q&A after your video, this is a great way to do it. For me, what I'm going to do is I'll send folks to my creator town hall, which is my weekly live show where we talk about all things creating. We also have the trailer option here, which is also very cool. We can hit the add button here. And what this will do is it will actually create a trailer for your premiere. So when people are waiting to watch the actual video, you can set a trailer here and they can enjoy that instead of just the static screen. Now, I don't really have a trailer for this one yet because I haven't created a smaller video because the thing to keep in mind is your trailer has to be under two minutes. So if you've got a longer video, it won't actually work. But an example of where I've used the trailer is this one here. You can see that what is YML, I put this as a trailer 
on my live streams because you can do the same thing on a live stream and this is like a short one minute explainer video. So if you're premiering a music video, maybe you wanna do like a 15 second clip of that music video. Or if you're doing a, a longer video, maybe you wanna do some highlights just to show people why they should tune in for the premiere. So to add it, we can just click on this one and it will add that in there as the trailer for this premiere video. Now, if you select the wrong video, no problem. All we need to do is hit the edit button and we can select a different video. And once you're happy with your selections, all you need to do is hit save. Now, in this case, we actually don't want a trailer at this point. Maybe I'll make one and add one in before the premiere starts, but we're going to hit the remove button here and then hit the save button. And this is gonna, as soon as we hit save, this is gonna save in that information. Now, the final step here to make sure that our premiere will actually go ahead and get scheduled and people can search for it is to hit this save button up the top here. So we'll click on save and that will save in all of that details and our premiere is ready to go. Now to view our premiere on YouTube, all you need to do is click on the video link here. It will jump you over here to the premiere page. And from here, there's a few cool things that you can do to set up your premiere. Let's add in a chat message here that folks are gonna see when they come here. So because this is about a song, what I'm gonna do is type in here, buy or stream the song here. And I'm gonna put the link here to my website, studiolivetoday.com slash WIP, which is a, a link that I set up for this. Now I can add that to the chat and I can actually pin that to the top. So if I click on these three dots, I can hit the pin message button and that will pin it to the top of the chat. That means that when folks come in, they'll see that they can start chatting at the premiere, but it's gonna be there for the whole premiere video. The other options we have here are some custom emojis, super chat if it's available on your channel, and even creating a poll. So you can set a poll and put that either before your video or do it live if you wanna ask people about things right in your premiere video. Finally, you can also add a comment yourself. So you'll see down here, I've already added this comment, thanking the folks who did the backing vocals for this one. And once again, if we want to pin that, we can pin that comment to the top so that that will show up for everyone on the final video and we're all set up and ready to go for our premiere.